All right, Fishaholics, welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna change it up. I just tied on a small little half ounce bucktail and I saw you guys were giving me some feedback in my last couple videos that you wanted to see some other types of fishing other than striped bass fishing, which breaks my heart because as much as you guys love it, I love it, but uh, you know, it's always, of course, good to uh, change it up a little bit here and there. So that's what we're gonna do today. But uh, before we head to the water, huge shout out to Ridge for actually sponsoring this video. And I thought it would be a great opportunity for me as well as all you fishaholics so that I could offer something outside of fishing and more for just your everyday life. So for the last week, I've been using this aluminum Ridge wallet, which also comes in titanium and carbon fiber, I believe. And this is like their flagship product. And I've actually really, really been digging it. It's compact, it's more convenient than my traditional bulky leather wallet, which uh, truly, I ha probably have a half a dozen cards in here just to prevent the cards that I do use from falling out. Also an advantage since I live in Montauk and I'm usually always near the water or on the water, especially in the summer, 90% of the time I'm wearing a bathing suit like I am today and usually bathing suits have small pockets. So with the Ridge, this comfortably and conveniently fits right into the pocket and I have what I need and don't carry around what I don't need. So that's about it. I'll put more information down in the description below. Now let's go head to the water and catch some fish. All right, we made it out here and it is absolutely a beautiful day. These are the days I live for. It is so gorgeous out here. And uh, I saw the wind forecast yesterday evening and I knew today I had to get out in the kayak. And uh, we're heading out to the spot and meeting up with Matt. He's already been fishing, fluking out there for about an hour. I hope he's catching some fish or has some good news. And uh, he fluke fishes like every day, so he's got a little bit of an idea probably what's going on and uh, you know I fluke fish all this area before and you know usually there's always fish here around this time of year and throughout the rest of the season but uh, this is our first outing in the kayak in this area for the season so it should be pretty interesting to see what we can catch. There he is! Ah! <laughs> he just lost one. <laughs> that would have been perfect timing just as I'm pulling up. Matt just lost the fish. Oh, you've only been fishing for 15 minutes? Oh, I thought you were already out here for like an hour or so. Boom! You using a half ounce or? Ounce. Ounce? All right. Here, let me just Guys, let's start fluking. You showed up, it's probably cheaper. Yeah, I thought it looked nice. I'm gonna start out with a half ounce so you get some light. Like this little squid. Just little swimming mullets. And you said you had three shorts already? Yeah. In the last 15 minutes? Yeah. That's pretty good. And we're barely drifting too. Yeah, and no, I, I think like I'm probably gonna cast a little bit, or I'm gonna create like a drift, like have the drive in reverse and then do a little back troll. I think that'll work. What's the limit? Four. It's four. At 19 inches, right? All right, so that's the goal for today, guys. Let's catch a limit. It's so shallow here, it's only 20 feet of water. There's like no wind out here. This is like glass, this is beautiful. Dude, we should have went offshore in the kayaks today, Matt. You guys, want, you guys want to see like an offshore like tuna shark and vid? Like, let me know, post a comment. Like, I think that would be pretty sick. Like, you know, I'll tie my GoPro to the, like a little bottle and then like someone will find it and then just post the video for me, hopefully. I just had weeds on there, so. All right, nothing here. We're gonna go back up and reset. All right, so we're starting our drift in about 27, 30 feet of water. Looks like I got a lot of bait near the bottom here, and we're gonna drift up the bank to about like 20. Oh, he fell off in the net, and I just got a keeper. All right, that's pretty sweet. I got weeds on this already. 
Don't judge me, this is the only tape measure I could find. <laughs> that was all I had in the car. I don't know where I got it, I found it. <clears throat> is he short? Oh, not a keeper, he's 18 inches. There he goes. There's a fish. All right, well, first fish of the day isn't looking good. Get out of here. That might be a fluke. There we go. Little guy. But I'll take it. It's a pretty one. It's gorgeous. Sweet. I caught that fluke just like holding it there, not even moving it. That was sweet. Yeah, especially, you know, because the water is, you know, 61 degrees right now on the surface. Down on the bottom in 27 feet of water is probably like in the 40s, I can imagine, where it's just really, really cold. So these fluke are still heating up as we're approaching summer. It's basically still like spring out here in Montauk. All right, we're gonna have to go back up. Only one short on that first drift. Whew, hopefully we do a little better on the next one. There he is. It's a short. He hit it good though. Matt just caught a keeper. And we were just about to leave too. Is he a keeper? Is he a keeper? Dude, this has to be a keeper. He's full of sand eels. Look at that like bulgy belly right there. Just full of bait. He's not a keeper, huh? I don't think he's gone. Oh no. Oh yeah, baby. 19 on the dot. Just made it? Just makes it. Alright. Nice. Fish busting on top, right there. Oh, look at that, that's crazy. <laughs> look at that, <laughs> that was pretty sick. Did you see that? Yeah, they're, they're feeding on top right here. Or it could have been a small bass, I'm not really sure. But he wanted it. He was coming after it like a little tuna. That was pretty sweet. I kind of don't want to catch him though if it's a blue because he'll chop on my gulp. What? what? I just got broken off right on the bottom. I guess a bluefish ate it maybe. That was crazy. I got cut off that quick. Try a little half ounce or three quarter ounce spro now, I guess. There's one. That might be a flounder. Please be a flounder. Another short. There's another one. All right, we're on the shorts. Just gotta find something a little bigger. But we're doing, I'm doing like a really short drift right now. And I'm actually 
getting up to the top of the rip and then popping the drive in reverse and just like making our own drift kind of. You got a big fish? Let's go check it out. Here, watch out, watch out. Dang, son, he might be bigger than five. We're using the same Mojo Inshore, aren't we? Nice. I'm using the seven foot six medium power, fast action. So is Matt. And Matt's out fishing me, but he's the fluke master. <laughs> oh, it's a blue fish? Oh, dang. All right, you know what? We're gonna put on a bigger bucktail now. We're out in 50 feet of water. I don't know, let's see if there's anything out here. Matt got that big blue fish. Like, I'm hoping we can find at least some quality fluke. All right, that looks good right there. I'm not using a spro, I'm using, I don't know what kind of bucktail this is, but if I find it online, I'll put it down in the description. We're gonna give this a shot. And it has a swinging hook, free swinging hook, and it's a nice long profile. This is what a big fluke is gonna eat. There's, that feels like a nice fluke fish. Nicer fish. There we go. Take that. Definitely not a keeper, but best one of the day for sure. Nice. And Matt actually just left and he was saying, I bet you're gonna start catching them when he leaves. We're not really catching them like crazy, but we did just catch one. Now let's see if we can get a few more. There's one. Feels a little bit better. Oh, nice. That's a keeper for sure. And you see, we actually got like a little bit of a breeze coming up right now and the tide's picking up. So we're getting a nice drift. I don't really have to back troll anymore to create my own drift and boom, this 20 inch fluke right here. Okay, just get a quick measurement on them. Twenty inches, easy. Boom. Sorry, buddy. You're gonna be dinner. Nice fluke right there. Look at him caught him right on the end of the nose on this bucktail that I'm using. It's an interesting bucktail because it has a swinging hook, and I'm not really sure even what the name of this bucktail is. I'm not even sure where I got it, but I'm gonna have to do some web surfing, see if I can find it. If I do, then I'll put it down in the description of the video. Boom, nice fish. All right, Fishaholics, we're off the water now, and uh, that was our first fluke outing of the season. Nothing great. It was a great day on the water, like for the first few hours, and then uh, the wind picked up and the current picked up. We caught our keeper, our nicest fish of the day, and then it really cranked up and our drift was like, whew, 
and uh, we caught just one more little short and like half a dozen more sea robins. But, uh, you know, I'm glad we didn't do like exceptionally well because it'll just motivate us to get back out there again, maybe in the next like week or two. And then maybe we can get our limit or uh, hopefully catch uh, a decent or big fluke in the kayak, which I haven't done in a really, really long time. Usually I'm always getting sidetracked by the striper fishing out here or work and I just forget to... Uh, target the flatties out here but if you guys keep reminding me that you want to see more fluke videos let me know then i'll definitely for sure get back out there in the next couple in the next couple weeks i'll pop some more videos up there of me uh trying to get on some good fluke bites but anyway uh, i'll put all my tagline equipment down in the description below if you guys could check out the fishaholic merch and pick something up to help support the channel that would be absolutely amazing so thanks if you do and like always never forget live to fish fish to live